Hey there everyone and welcome to another special video that's diverging from the original plan I had. Uh, this is going to be of the knight um, going through the challenge map. I showed the challenge map um, with both archer and wizard in a previous video and um, I, after that I got a lot of requests of showing a knight going through it. Now um, archer and wizard they have pet damage and they can bypass the difficulty so it doesn't really matter about their stats but for a knight it really does matter about the stats which is why initially I said no there's no way I'm doing this and then I got speaking with um, a friend of mine who is a knight and has over 100,000 power and said actually they can't solo this map so I, that got me thinking oh wait maybe this map is actually really difficult and uh, maybe it is worth trying um, actually with a, a knight that's powered up for it properly so I'm going through with a knight that um, I believe is how well, what they're expecting to go through uh, the map with. So um, the stats on this are going to be quite insane, but uh, as you can see, I've picked about 100,000 power. The way I did it was uh, promotion is 220, battle wings is 100, and um, then I've put some elite jewels on and stuff to bump up my armor, because one thing I realize is everyone has elite jewels that then uh, massively increase the armor. So um, I needed to buff up that armor amount. So I I hope these stats are quite close to what you expect on the kind of people who can you know are meant to be doing this. And um, I picked 200% on the elemental stats. Um, I'll actually be using pretty much only water, um, a little bit of light with sparkling gift there. But um, yeah, it's that water stat. Um, that's what I think's the the best on knights right now. And um, yes, yeah, so that's a little look at the stats there um, to sort of compare. I think the damage is about right. I'm not sure exactly how much damage these people have, but anyway, th that's the stats there. And then uh, the skills I'll be using, are, oh, I should show my skills here, sorry. So I'm not using um, f flowing blades, flowing blades, uh, even though that's really strong, actually because it's mobs in this all the way through, um, I'm going to be using freezing aura um, for doing loads of damage to a group of enemies at once, and also empowered water cleave, because this does a lot of water damage, and uh, you can spam it off. All my skills are maxed right now. I don't really want to reset skills because it's going to take me ages uh, leveling them all up again. So I've just gone with it like this. Uh, with the cooldown potion and stuff, you can spam them fast enough anyway. And um, yeah, it shouldn't make too much difference. Um, but anyway, so the skills I'm going to be using, uh, the important ones to have maxed, are spikes and uh, enrage. Spikes for the um, armor buff here. Um, I was actually, I forgot about this, I meant to put it on and I was playing without it for ages, and it, you can do it without it, but um, when it gets to the boss you definitely want to have this on. Um, in Rage as well, uh, the damage bonus on this, it doubles your damage. Um, you've already got a, a passive boost of 20%, so it's not quite double, but it's a huge boost to your damage output. And with the Demon's Rage uh, screwing on it as well, when you get hit it will power up your damage even more, uh, so it actually ends up almost triple, and um, also your armor increases again there. Uh, which is slight, it's it's not a massive effect. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to be doing, um, so it's important to have those both maxed, and then other than that, it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Having Holy Shield um, leveled up quite a lot helps again. Uh, this damage is all up to 50%. Uh, using the two of these will make you uh, very, very tanky. So you die off ridiculously fast if you don't have defense on. However, if you have defense on, then you survive perfectly fine. That's what I found. And uh, that was without spikes, so with spikes added in the equation, probably it's even better. Um, so yes, what I'm going to be doing mainly is, before going into combat, I will buff up with um, Angelic Form. Oh, actually, this boosts water damage as well. Oh, I forgot about that. Lord of Winter doing that. Yes, that might be why I'm doing so much damage. <laughs> but anyway, so use Lord of Winter, then use Demon's Rage, and then go in with Sparkling and Gift. And uh, this obviously isn't the map, but I'll go in with Spark and Gift, use free Freezing Aura, and then Cleave. And the enemies will die so fast. And um, obviously that's because I've got 200% water, and then there's the 200% extra from Lord of Winter. But this is how, you know, uh, someone of this calibre should be playing uh, to try and do a really, really tough map. Um, so I was actually in a map there because I wanted to um, run out of potions. Um, I'm just going to uh, put them back on again. Because obviously you do this with potions as well. I'm not going to bother with a dragon. Uh, just because there, there's no point adding that in as well. So uh, yes, let's just go for it. Um, I may not succeed first run. Because um, I've only had one successful run so far. Because I was testing out different things. But uh, this seems definitely seems to be the most optimal build. And um, 
yeah, you should see how quickly it takes down the enemies. When you tank up like that on the approach, uh, like I said, that's how you approach them, but then uh, you've also got uh, both these skills. The reason why I have them in the hotkeys there is because then you can use both of those, and that will make you almost invincible for a few more seconds, which in those few seconds I can either run away or I can, um, yeah, just like carry on killing them, just to finish them off. But um, yeah, it's quite important. So by using these skills, we're practically invincible. We'll go in. Oh, uh, I did not get any lag before this. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, look, those enemies are just gone. <laughs> Absolutely massacred. And um, oh, we've now we've lost energetic form, so I'll put on those two buffs. And um, you'll see now everything should be just about fine. Just finish off these last few enemies. Okay, now do the same again. Angelic form, enrage, spark and gift ready, spark and gift into the enemies, freezing aura, clear them out, and then as you can see, just one enemy left, and it's fine to clear out. You can probably do this other ways, but uh, this is definitely the way to do it. I mean, it's it's much more powerful than the other ones. Uh, you don't have to wait for the cooldown. You can use Lay on Hands instead, and then just do the other ones. Um, but uh, yeah, the safest way is to do it with Angelic Form. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't need to wait for, wait for it there. Um, let's actually use Lay on Hands in this one. I need to refresh the spikes. Got to keep an eye on that. Okay. So what this will do is it'll put a bubble on you, um, a health bubble. Oh, it's gone already. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh well, I can probably tank up enough. Uh, yeah, let's just get out of there now. I put them all together. Let's use Andretic Form now. So the Demon's Rage and stuff is just mainly for the damage buff. As you can see, I can kind of kill them off anyway. Um, I don't really need it, but it just it means they they die in seconds, and uh, really that's that's important when you um. Did the spikes buff go off already? I swear. Oh, oh I've got this problem with my mouse at the moment. I need a new mouse. It's um completely stuffed. Uh, it's like clicking multiple times when I'm not actually clicking. Uh, well, when I click once. But yeah, other enemies dead. Just the boss ready there. I left there, and then now. Uh, we got a huge amount of lag, and um, I'm now going to run away, because um, if you remember from the other videos, I drew out the enemies, um, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here, except in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to let me get my cooldowns back. I can then take out all those um, imps just because they're grouped together by Spark and Gift, and then now I can hopefully take down the boss. Which, unfortunately, the boss wasn't quite ready, so I'm um, going to be slightly wary here. Mm, yeah, I'll, I'll just tank up with these until that comes back. Enrage. Spark and Gift was there. Take down the boss. So yeah. That was faster than the other two runs, but obviously that is when you've got enough stats that you can actually face the enemies. Um, I'm going to do one more run now. And I'm going to be slightly more aggressive and uh, not focus, um, well, I say slightly more aggressive. I'm going to go kind of um, using these skills as well and uh, not just doing it with Angelic Form. I'm also not going to use Enrage just because I want to show kind of what damage output you have when you're not fully buffed up the whole time. Um, because I have, I get the feeling probably some knights will look at this and go, oh, this is unrealistic because uh, actually you don't have damage output like that, and um, yeah. So without Lord of Winter, I'm not going to have the water boost, and without Enrage, I'm not going to have like the double damage there. So my damage output's going to be significantly reduced, and um, we'll just see how it actually fares. So, what was the skill that I was going to have on? Yeah, let's just do it with this, okay. Uh, so you do want to buff up with those two, just for going in. You can't have Protector on all the time. Oh god, it's, it really lags with uh, recording. So you need to spam those defense skills as much as possible. Keep them active um, as much as you can. And um, you should be around about okay. As you can see, I still took out the other enemies. There's just this guy left. 
just make sure as soon as Protector comes back, use it again. Because that is a very seriously good buff. And um, the cooldown on it, with a cooldown potion, it ends up as 13 seconds. Which means there's 3 seconds of it being inactive. Which is very, very important because, um, yeah, in those 3 seconds you can die and at all other times you pretty much can't. So, yeah, you need to make sure you put it back on. I'm going to put the spikes buff on because um, most top top people have the spikes. Oh, I didn't put the... <laughs> there I was talking about keeping constant defense and I forgot to um, put on the buffs before I went in. But as you can see, still survived. It's all good. It's not quite as tough as I thought it was from the first minute. It's probably because of spikes. Uh, I've got spikes on now. And that's like reducing my damage, the damage I take by 60%, so yeah, there's enough damage uh, defense buffs going on that I can tank up, ooh, maybe not quite. Those must have caught me at the wrong, the wrong time. Yes, okay, that was without protector on, probably spikes had ended, and um, I got hit there. So yeah, a little bit more messy like this. Um, but um, my damage output is still kind of fine, isn't it? I think so. Uh, let's not use spikes now. Let's save that to the boss. Just to let's just clear this this group quickly. Oh, they really spread out. Yeah, what I love about Knight is you only really need a couple of skills, a couple of damage skills, that is, and then you're sorted. You you can do it with a couple of damage skills and then uh, focus on defense, because their defense skills are so strong uh, because you've got that higher health and higher armor. Um, okay, now we're going to do this properly, and I'm I'm going to do everything except Demon's Rage here. I'm going to do the, the other kind of buffs, and um, I think that's probably... A realistic kind of example of um, what it can be like. So now I'm going to buff up with the other things. As soon as Angelic Forms ended, you need to start buffing up with the other stuff. And did you see there the shield um it ends at pretty much exactly the same time as it comes off cooldown which is why it's so good um i've always loved holy shield and it's it reduces um it has sorry yeah i'm concentrating um it has less health than uh what do you call it the um the protection bubble on wizards but because you've got higher health and armor it's actually uh pretty much as strong as it and, um, yeah, the skill levels 10 to 99 have doubled the health of it, as well as not really increasing the cooldown by much. Um, they also increase the duration of it. So, yeah, it's now like a proper tanking up bubble uh, for a few seconds. And then, um, oh, I'm, I have to concentrate way too much for this. <laughs> it's like you properly tank up for those few seconds, and then you can do um, chain one into another with a cooldown potion. But anyway, um, I hope that showed everything that you wanted to see, and um, yes, an example of someone who has the right stats for this map uh, doing it properly. I do think it's possible as a knight, um, if you're around about 100,000 power, uh, my stats may not be exactly right with this, and uh, suddenly um, I do realise that I'm benefiting a lot from having 217% water plus then the 200% from Lord of Winter. Uh, stack those with the enrage, uh, enrage damage boost, and then also this has um, further properties for increasing your damage more. That makes your damage output so insane that you can actually, you know, clear out those enemies in seconds at every single encounter. Um, it's only when you come to the boss that actually you need to um, stick around for a bit, and I would recommend drawing out the enemy, uh, drawing out the boss. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.